The Action to News at 5. For the first time in years, a Democrat is in the race for the Wisconsin 8th Congressional District. Dr. Kristen Lyerly announced her candidacy this morning. As we've reported, Republican incumbent Mike Gallagher is resigning in about two weeks. Lyerly joins two Republicans already with their hats in the ring, State Senator Andre Jacques and former State Senator Roger Roth. In a sit-down one-on-one interview this morning, Brittany Schmidt hears from Dr. Lyerly about why she wants to represent Northeast Wisconsin in Washington. Child care is so hard I had to bring my kids. <laughs> Surrounded by family and supporters, it is official. A Democrat has entered the race for Wisconsin's 8th congressional seat. I couldn't be more excited to share with you that today I am announcing my candidacy to represent the people of Northeast Wisconsin. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Dr. Kristen Lyerly is a Kakana native and has spent her career as an obstetrician gynecologist advocating for her patients. Now she wants to take that advocacy to Congress and represent Northeast Wisconsin. And it's never been about a seat. It's always been about where can I be most effective. Dr. Lyerly says her bid has been a long time coming. She says the catalyst was COVID-19 when health care providers were struggling to safely provide care. And then politicians came in and interfered with our health care, sent us to the polls irresponsibly. It was just such, such an inappropriate thing to do. So as a physician advocating for my patients and my colleagues, that was my call to action. That was when I first ran for office. In 2020, I ran for state assembly. She lost that race, but says she learned about the needs of Wisconsinites. While her medical expertise led her to be a national advocate for reproductive freedom after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in 2022. As an OBGYN doctor, we often hit a wall, whether it's them being able to get access to birth control or abortion care. She argues the things that affect our health deeply are social determinants. Safe neighborhoods, affordable housing, healthy food, clean air, clean water. So all of these things are priorities. The question is, what do the people of Northeast Wisconsin want? And that's what I'm gonna be hitting the campaign trail, hearing people and bringing their voices to Washington, D.C. when I go. Historically, the 8th District has leaned Republican. Representative Mike Gallagher even ran unopposed last term and won by large margins before that. A Democrat has not won the district since 2008, but Dr. Lyerly doesn't find that concerning. Now with the new maps, every single seat for assembly and all the Senate seats that are on the ballot and the congressional seat, which nobody ran in last time, all of these seats are on the ballot. People have a reason to come out and vote now. There are rumblings that more people will enter the race. Right now, there are two Republican candidates, current state Senator Andre Jacques and former state Senator Roger Roth. There are so many people that I've kind of fought alongside with to make positive changes in state law. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm very proud of those those victories for the people in Northeast Wisconsin, for the conservative cause as well. Yeah, I think she's wrong on the issues that people here in Northeast Wisconsin care about. The people I've talked to, they've had it with Bidenomics. They've had it with the 17.6% inflation. It's hard for families to be able to put food on the table right now because of these disastrous economic policies. There is a path that involves women and people who care about women and people who care about freedom and democracy. They recognize that the mega extremism that's present right now and it's present in GOP leadership in this district. Wisconsin's partisan primaries on Tuesday August 13th. The general election is on November 5th. I'm Brittany Schmidt for Action 2 News.